Good morning students. In the previous video, I taught you about the two plant fibers that is jute and cotton. Now we will study in detail about cotton. Now the fruit of the cotton plant is called as the cotton balls. The fruit it looks almost like this. The fruits. And what happens is once these fruits are matured they burst open. Okay. They burst open and from them from inside arises the cotton. Okay. And now the cotton is ready. Now what do the workers do? They pick up these cotton balls from the field and it is usually hand picked. Hand picked means to pick it with the help of hands. Now what do the workers do? From the field they pick up these cotton balls and then they separate the fibers by the process called as ginning. Now what is ginning? Now ginning means you can see for example this is the cotton. Okay. This is the cotton. Now see what happens there are many cotton along with the cotton when they pick up the cotton there are seeds also along with this. So what do they do? They use combs not this kind I am just showing you this is not the comb original comb they use the bigger combs combs and then they do combing like this and then what happens the seeds are separated from the cotton here there are no seeds but when they pick it from the uh, field there are seeds also along with the cotton so by the when they comb it like this the seed is separated and the fiber cotton fiber is separated so this procedure is called as ginning okay so what is ginning the ginning means the separating the fibers from the seed Seed is seed and the fibers are separated by combing. Clear? Now, after the process of ginning, the next procedure is spinning. Okay? The next procedure is spinning. Now, what happens in spinning? Spinning means the process of making yarn from fibers. Now, how do they do it? See, just now I showed you cotton. See children, these cotton, these are the fibers. Okay, you can say the cotton fibers like this. Okay, this is the fiber. Now, in spinning, what do they do is they take these fibers and they roll it like this. Okay, they do the rolling. And when they roll, they keep on rolling like this. And once they roll it, see, it has turned into a thread like structure i have rolled it and it has turned into a thread like structure and what is this thread like structure i told you in the previous class this is called as the yarn okay so this spinning just now i did it with the help of my hands the cotton fiber i rolled it like this and now it has almost turned into a yarn this is a yarn okay and usually they do it with the help of hand spindle in hindi it is called as takli or with the help of charkha you must have heard about charkha mahatma gandhi ji used to use the charkha okay so spinning is done on the charkha is it clear to all of you For, uh, then after this we come to the next procedure that means now your yarn is ready this is your yarn or you can say the thread from the fiber the yarn is ready now we will see from the yarn how the fabric is made now from the yarn the fabric can be made by two procedures one is weaving and the another one is knitting okay now there is a difference between weaving and knitting now in the procedure of weaving two sets of yarn are arranged together to make a fabric 
now in the previous video i also uh, showed you this see this is the bandage now if you see children you can see very clearly that there are two sets of yarn arranged together in this that is one is like this see horizontally and many sets of yarn are put vertically also okay so this is the procedure of weaving that means two sets of yarns are arranged together to make a fabric see this also i showed it to you this is this was a silk fabric from the sari i have cut it out from a silk sari now if you see it very closely you can see two sets of yarn one is the horizontal one and the another one is the vertical one okay so in the process of weaving two sets of yarns are arranged together to make a fabric like this okay and it is usually done on looms looms are the machines on which weaving is done okay now this looms this weaving can be done either using uh, the hands or by using the machines okay now when it is uh, weaving is done on, uh, with the help of hands uh, the fabric that is prepared they are called as hand looms because it is prepared with the help of hands okay now the second procedure is by the process of knitting now knitting is usually done uh, with the woolen cloths okay now in knitting single yarn is used to make a fabric okay now if you see this see this is a woolen and you can see that in this it there is a single yarn used so this has been knitted okay one single uh, yarn is used so when you do the knitting you must have seen uh, your mothers knitting the sweater how do they knit it it is almost like this a somewhat design like this isn't it so a single yarn thread or single yarn is used to make the fabric you can see you can take any of the woolen cloths and you can look at it any of your woolen sweaters so they use only one single thread or one single yarn to make the fabric and this is also done with the help of either hand you must have seen many ladies knitting the sweater so that is done with the help of hand or by using machines so what is the main difference between weaving and knitting in weaving two sets of yarns are arranged to make a fabric okay like this two sets are there and then in knitting one single yarn is used to make a fabric one single yarn one single thread okay so this is the difference between weaving and knitting now we come to the history of clothing material now you all see children initially the people did not have clothes because they were not familiar with the process of spinning weaving or knitting so what they did was they used either the bark of the tree or the big leaves of the trees or animal skins to cover their body okay then later on they realized that cloths can also be made and when they started making the cloth they draped it around their body now what do you mean by draped it draped means apne charo taraf lapet lena because uh, the needle was not discovered isn't it so they did not know to stitch the cloth so they used one big cloth and they just simply draped it around their body but what happened with the invention of the needle people started stitching cloths and nowadays you all know that we all wear stitched cloths whichever material you see whether you take the sari sorry not the sari whether you take the shirts pants uh, your frocks your jeans they all are stitched cloths 
isn't it so this is the history of the cloth now but still nowadays there are uh, we also use some unstitched cloths as i told you see sari sari is an unstitched cloth you can see one whole uh, big it's almost uh, near about 6 uh, meters isn't it you must have seen your mothers draping the sari it is an unstitched cloth lungi that your fathers wear or the turbans that the uh, that is worn on the head these are all unstitched cloths which we use even still okay so children uh, let us once again uh, recapitulate what did we study we studied that first of all there are the fibers okay we get the fiber from plants as well as animals and the plant fibers we have got the plant fibers that is cotton and the other plant fiber was jute from the fiber fiber is converted into yarn by the procedure of spinning isn't it the fiber is converted into yarn by the procedure of spinning yarn means the thread and then the yarn is converted into fabric by the procedure of weaving or by the procedure of spinning and that is how the fabric is made sorry it is not weaving it is knitting okay and by the procedure of weaving and knitting the yarn is converted into fabric so i hope children this chapter must be clear to all of you and if you have any doubt you can contact me on my personal number thank you